Well, me and little man are still out here at Valley of Fire, about um, probably about five or six miles outside Karazozoa. I probably really pronounced that all messed up, but whatever. And uh, we'll go wait out the heat wave for a couple of days because I have electric and, and water here, like I said. And just wait out the heat wave, and but I'm kind of like just hanging out in this area until I go down. Um, south in a couple of days my sisters could be down there going to a wedding so I figured I'd go down there and camp for a couple of days and meet up with her and then by then it'd be time to go to my balloon fest so I got a campground probably about 60 miles south of Albuquerque and I'm gonna stay there and just get up at like three o'clock in the morning and drive in town because I really don't want to be around Albuquerque dropping my trail and everything just I don't know I don't think it's too safe doing that but Anyway, went into town to make a long story short. If you need groceries, it's best from these little small towns. They, what you do, you either bring a lot of stuff with you, that's what I do, and then when I start running low on groceries, like I'll either go to Rio Dosis or I'll find me a, a pretty good sized town with Walmart, and that, that's when I'll stock up on my groceries, because when you get out in these little small grocery stores, like, you know, these little small towns, you can pay almost double for what you buy, like I went to a little store today and coffee is $14 and I usually pay about $6.99 for it. I mean, I'm not cheap or anything. I understand they have to make a living too, but you know, if I could save a few bucks, you know, I'm gonna save a few bucks because living on the road does get expensive. And be between food and gas, that's where a lot of your money goes if you don't boondock it. If you don't boondock, you gotta pay for, you know, camping in a state park, which is another expense. So you gotta kind of like watch the money you spend, you know, keep an eye on it, you know, you can't go hog wild, but anyway, I did find something down there in the gift shop yesterday, it's open on weekends here at the Valley of Fire, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but I, I found me a map, it's New Mexico Public Land Recreation Guide, and it folds out into a big map, and it's got a lot of good information on it, if you like camping on BLM land, it's got a, a lot on it, so, you know, if you can find this map wherever, I mean, it, it was in the in the store, so I guess it's a, um, you know, BLM map, so. If you can find it, check it out, it's good, and we got my, um, I'm going to set my panels up today and test see how much voltage I'm getting in my panels, and um, the solar system, the solar power is working pretty good, but the solar panels, they only come with like five feet of leads. And there ain't a whole lot you can do with five feet of leads, so some kind of way I got to figure out a way to order, you know, 25 foot extension leads. But when you're out here traveling, you don't have a mailbox. I mean, you could use an Amazon box at a gas station or whatever, but then you have to stay here until the package gets here. So you could be in one place for like seven days. And last year, me and a buddy of mine, we got a bunch of stuff shipped to the post office and UPS delivered it and we went to pick it up because UPS delivered it, the postmaster wanted to charge his postage on it. And I was like, you know, if you're a Prime Amazon member, you pay thirteen ninety nine, and you're supposed to get free shipping. So then when you go to pick the package up, UPS drops it the counter, they want to charge you five to $10 for postage. I was like, wow, you know, that ain't gonna work. So I, I sent all my stuff back, so I gotta figure out a way, and even if you send it in cure the post office, I don't know how long they're holding, but I gotta come up with something. So if any of y'all out here on my channel know how to get stuff mailed to you when you're on the road, leave me a comment below, because I'd really like to know. But like I said, we're just gonna chill out for a couple of days here, probably, probably till Thursday, and then I'll, I'll go south and catch up with my sister. She's coming from Palmville, Virginia. She's coming out here to do a wedding, so I figured I'd catch up with her. And, then head north to the uh, Balloon Festival in Albuquerque. So the rest of the day I'm just gonna kick back and relax. I'll take you over here to the solar panels and tell you, show you what I mean about the five foot leads don't do you a whole lot of good. See that there is all you get on your leads. Right now we're testing to see what kind of voltage I'm getting. Okay, let me help him out here for a second. This is a friend of mine, he's camped right above me, but Anyway, he came down because he had a voltage meter because I want to see what kind of voltage I'm getting a full day of sun. What you do, you just take the leads off. But y'all can see what I mean. That's all the leads you got. So if, you, if your panels are over there, right there, and then you turn around and your 
get your refrigerators in the car. Let me show you how I got it set up. Okay. I got my refrigerators right there. And then I got the rock power right there. And she's running off the rock power right now. But I have electricity to the rock power. But I just have to get like a 25 foot extension. So when I don't have electricity, I can run it off of my solar panels. What are they putting out, Jamie? 21.6. One, what? 21.6 21.6 is what they're putting out so it, it really should charge that refrigerator but without those lead extensions I really can't do anything because see I'll show you right here five foot extension won't even reach your car much less my back seat so write, write that down. what's that 21.6 I'll write that down Another day. It is super windy outside. It felt like I've been in a boat all night rocking back and forth, back and forth. But I figured I'd get up and fix me some French toast this morning. I mean, because it's too windy to go outside and mess around. So this is my morning breakfast. Got a little man right there. I'll show you what I'm getting ready to do. There's old little man in his little bed. He's always right there. My little baby boy. But anyway cook me up some french toast i've got my cup of coffee and go start the day right i might run into walmart today i need to get my medications filled so i might run into day walmart do some grocery shopping uh get my prescriptions filled and see what happens after that should be a nice cool day so i shouldn't have any problems with little man being with me but we'll see how it goes just another day another exciting day I get my groceries from uh, Rio Dosis Walmart it's because it's about an hour drive from the Valley of Fire but if you ever get into town into Rio Dosis check this place out right here and also if you need firewood they sell firewood by the barrel for $20 which is a real good price because you're not gonna find a whole lot of firewood out here but they got all kind of aliens I'd like to get over to Riswell and check that town out but I'll just have to see how it goes. Well, I'm getting ready to go back to the Valley of Fire. That'll probably be the end of this video, but I'll catch y'all in the next one. I appreciate y'all watching. Give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.